2017 May Day March in Dublin was built around the struggle against homelessness and the demand for decent housing for all. The May Day March is organised every year by the Dublin Council of Trade Unions, which is a delegate body formed of delegates from each of the trade unions that organises in Dublin. May Day itself owes its origin to the execution of four anarchist trade union organisers in Chicago in 1887. Uh, the first May Day uh, parades were essentially mass protests in cities around the world to demand that these executions be halted. The Workers' Solidarity Movement, the main anarchist group in Ireland, takes part in the May Day parades around the country every year. And in Dublin, we most years organise a block to participate in it. The footage with this video is from this year's anarchist block. As we wrote in the call out for this year's block, History has a lot to teach us about the roots of our radicalism. When we remember that people were shot so we could have the eight-hour day, if we acknowledge that homes with families in them were burned to the ground so we could have Saturday as part of the weekend, when we recall eight-year-old victims of industrial accidents who marched in the streets protesting working conditions and child labour only to be beat down by the police and company thugs, we understand that our current condition cannot be taken for granted. People fought for the rights and dignities we enjoy today and there is still a lot more to fight for. The sacrifices of so many people cannot be forgotten or we'll end up fighting for those same gains all over again. This is why we celebrate May Day. But let's go back to the historic roots of May Day. What is that story? In 1887, four Chicago anarchists were executed. A fifth cheated the hangman by killing himself in prison. Three more were to spend six years in prison until pardoned by Governor Altgut who said the trial that convicted them was characterised by, quote, hysteria, packed juries and a biased judge. The state had, in the words of the prosecution, put, quote, anarchy on trial and hoped the deaths would also be the death of the anarchist idea. The anarchists were trade union organisers and May Day became an international workers' day to remember their sacrifice. They were framed on false charges of throwing a bomb at police breaking up demonstrations in Chicago. This was part of a strike demanding an eight-hour day involving 400,000 workers in Chicago that started May the 1st, 1886. The American Federation of Labour had adopted a historic resolution asserting that eight hours shall constitute a legal day's labour from and after May the 1st, 1886. As the date approached, thousands of workers were drawn into this struggle for the shorter day. Skilled and unskilled, black and white, men and women, native and migrant, were all becoming involved. In Chicago, 400,000 went out on strike. A newspaper of that city reported that, quote, no smoke curled up from the tall chimneys of the factories and mills, and things had assumed a Sabbath-like appearance. This was the main centre of the agitation, and here the anarchists were in the forefront of the labour movement. It was to no small extent due to their activities that Chicago became an outstanding trade union centre and made the biggest contribution to the eight-hour movement. When, on May 1st, 1886, the eight-hour strikes convulsed the city, one half of the workforce of McCormick Harvester Company came out. Two days later, a mass meeting was held by 6,000 members of the Lumber Shovers Union, who had also come out. The meeting was held only a block from the McCormick plant and was joined by some 500 of the strikers from there. The workers listened to a speech by the anarchist August Spice, who had been asked to address the meeting by the Central Labour Union. While Spice was speaking, urging the workers to stand together and not give in to the bosses, the strike breakers were beginning to leave the nearby McCormick plant. The strikers, aided by the lumber shovers, marched down the street and forced the scabs back into the factory. Suddenly, a force of 200 police arrived and, without any warning, attacked the crowd with clubs and revolvers. They killed at least one striker, seriously wounded five or six others and injured an indeterminate number. Outraged by the brutal assaults he had witnessed, Spies went to the office of the Arbeiter Zeitung, a daily anarchist newspaper for German immigrant workers, and composed a circular calling on the workers of Chicago to attend a you protest. You can find out the rest of the story night. of the origins of May Day at www.wsm.ie slash Mayday.